Hello once again everybody, it's Effing Controller and we're playing more Floris! What do you know? So, we're gonna um, head on into the Nord lands, we're gonna probe ever deeper, 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 and deeper we go. Our probing runs deep, so deep it puts a booty to sleep. Um, let me upgrade my character real quick, I just remembered, I forgot to do that. Um, it would make sense that he's a little bit wiser to the ways of the world. So we'll go ahead and increase his intelligence and... Oh yeah, that's looking mighty tempting, especially because it's a leader skill. And probably he's come to the realization that, you know, just simply, uh, simply uh, slitting the throats of his uh, captured foes is not very economical. Just leaving them to die at the side of the road. So we'll give him some points in prisoner management. Why not? I'm a little bit new to this whole role-playing thing, and uh, obviously I'm not very good at it. But, um... I like to think that it's just a means of justifying some highly questionable gameplay decisions. There you go. Alright! This game doesn't necessarily lend itself to role-playing that much, but, you know... We can definitely take on the persona of being an asshole. And I can do that very easily, seeing as how... Ooh! This is actually an interesting development. The truce between the Rodok Republic and the Serenid Sultanate has expired, you say? Well... We're not technically at war right now. But I wonder if uh, Effington... would want to go and uh, crack some heads. We really don't have that many troops, is the thing. A little bit premature here. I'm going to tier, by the way. Uh, I'm going to, to tier to see if I can get some of that badass Nord armor. And if I can, I will gladly do it. Um, as long as it's not too expensive. A little bit of a provision there, I guess. Shedding tears for tear. Tears for fears, maybe? Something happens and I'm head over heels. Um, look at those brown cabbages we had there for a second. Oh, I would never give up thunder. Um, I didn't mean to click there, I guess. A sturdy red wimple. Why is that? Oh, I guess the band is red. It's an expensive wimple. You look fantastic in it, but we're not going to buy it, I don't think. We could afford this, but we would basically be broke. I'm looking more for body armor. Spangin'. That helmet is spanging, baby. All right, 21 to nine. Gotta stay focused here. That would be great, but that is extremely expensive. We cannot afford that. So maybe we will stick to getting a helmet. One of these two. Oh, that just looks silly. That's too silly even for Effington. But that's pretty badass. It's got a pig on it. Shit. Settled. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna buy that. I'd buy that for 199 dinars. Let's uh, go up to Sargoth and see if they have some cheaper armor. Uh, sometimes the Swanian cities have some better body armor too. So that might be a possibility. Maybe we'll even recruit... Why don't we recruit a couple of Nords into our party? Hello, Quinn! Dr. Quinn, medicine woman! Crap! Nobody wants to join me. Despite my hilarious reference to a 1990s television show. Okay, let's go to Sargoth. See if they have any armor. Wow. Wowzers. That's pretty scary. Uh, ooh, that looks... <laughs> that looks pretty silly. <laughs> and that is... I don't think we have the money. I wish I had not bought this then. Ooh, they're both 666. Awesome. Oh, man. The price alone is enough to buy it. Shit. Well... That's too bad. Uh, maybe we'll hang out here a little bit and see if... No, we're not going to visit the port. 
Uh, see if we can find some ways of making some money. Maybe we'll go to Vita Jeg. Vijeg. Vijeg? Ah, kill me. Let's go to Vagina. I mean Vijeg. 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 Five bond ears. Delightful. We still have plenty of money to go around. What are you doing to my Nordic friends? Oh, they're gonna catch up. Oh, and they even let go of a prisoner there just so they could speed up a little bit, or either that or he escaped, I guess. But I will not let this stand. This aggression will not stand. Even though we're excruciatingly slow over land. Oh, they're gonna catch up. I'm gonna take care of this. I'm gonna help out. I'm gonna do something noble for some reason. We might get goaded on by our Nord companions. They may be distressed at the sight of their countrymen being run down by a party of ignominious vagueers. Rush to the aid of the village farmers and lead your troops to glory and fame! Ah, trees. That's um, mildly unfortuitous. We back off here a little bit. And they're riding right. Actually, no, that's really good because they have cavalry. Although our uh, arrows are going to be slowed significantly. Get out of the way! Yeah! Fuck you and your horse and the horse you rode in on! Looks like my peasant friends are dealing very well with all this. Oh, I thought I killed him with that leg shot. Get him. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, hold the line, hold the line, everyone. Hold the line, love isn't always on time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is probably... Effington's first encounter with the Vagers, and he finds them quite distasteful. It tastes terrible. Oh god, trees. Oh, trees. Trees, get out of the trees. Ugh. Son of a biscuit. Come on. My men, ow. Look at that hammer. It's like a carnival test of strength hammer. Nice shot, idiot. Ow. <laughs> okay, leave me alone. <laughs> Go ahead and charge, guys. <laughs> oh, fucking damn it. <laughs> Alright, Thunder, I think you... <laughs> you poor little animal with your missing eyes. What happened to them, old friend? Uh, did I get shot in the ass? Oh, just in the kidney or something. Nothing vital. That's fine. My ass looks great. That's what counts. Is that really a pig? That is a boar on our helmet. That is immense. That is just fantastic. I think we might have captured a nobleman there, but we'll we'll see. It's like my men are trying to run them down, but they're probably going to escape. I'm bringing up the rear, guys. Oh, you got him? Okay. Good work, everybody. Let's go have some punch. We only lost one Malizia. Ah, uh, that's a tough unit to lose, but that's okay. Killed 23 of them, not bad. And Bunduk, ever reliable Bunduk. Thank you for your help, sir. You saved our lives out there. The Nords are very happy with us. 
Oh, we can capture this ratnik, which is uh, like a beatnik, except uh, they like uh, rodents. No, wait, let's let's take a look. Oh, yes. This is when it gets good. It's when you start taking out actual enemy units. Although, with that said, these are kind of shitty. <laughs> ah, a helmet that would have been possibly kind of nice for us to have. Oh, well. These are all things I can possibly give to my comrades, so this is all very nice, very good. I actually should have had them just automatically select... Um goodies but let's uh, let's go ahead and do it manually bunduk you need to level up too bunduk 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 that is just fun to say now uh, i'm going to be training yamira up in first aid so this is just sauce for the goose um he will be our resident trainer especially because he seems so adept at uh, getting levels anyways um and we'll give him a point in agility. And then a point there, and then a point here, there, and everywhere. And let's talk about equipment, my friend. Because you look like a man who needs a shield. And a helmet. And those are already good. You can take off those ridiculous bear paw boots. Wait a minute, 15? <laughs> you get these. Get fancy leather boots. Get me. No. That looks ridiculous. Okay, cool. And uh, we'll talk to Yamira so that she can finally slip out of that dress into something unflattering. Can she wear this? Damn it all! Okay, she can wear this. Finally, she can wear something where she won't die immediately. There, good. Okay, that's that's an improvement. I like that. Um, can she even have one of these? No, you you're just so useless. You goddamn waste of space. Oh, gotta love her. All right. Just looking at the reach. Don't mind me. Um, we'll give you that instead. I'm gonna give her these arrows just in anticipation of getting her a bow. I think I got one earlier and I sold it. Oh well. Well, that'll help her a lot. And then let's talk to Ferentis! Ferentis, my friend, my longtime companion. Let's take a look see here. That will be an improvement for you, too. And. You have that pretty impressive sword, actually. It's better than mine. What's the deal? Oh, yeah, that one's expensive. That's why I have it. <laughs> it's my vanity sword. That's right. 18. And I think that that is going to be good. We're going to give you a shield. Excellent. Good. Okay. So that was actually really helpful. We ended up getting some pretty major upgrades on our stuff. All right, um, what were we doing? <laughs> I forgot. Well, let's go to Uxcall and see if we can sell off this uh, prisoner here. We got a good chunk of money out of that, too. Not bad. It never hurts to help. Nicky dokey. Wow! Holy jumping up and down, Martha. Look at that. That is a big party of manhunters. They do get incredibly large later on in the game. Alright, let's go to the tavern and see if we can sell off this silly... Oh, Artemenor. We'll have to talk with him, but let's uh, see if we can find a ransom broker first. Artemenor is actually kind of cool. He uh, might not get along with some of our folks, but you people are useless to me. You are not people who buy people. People who buy people are the wealthiest people. Boo! 
Get off the stage. Alright, well, there's no ransom broker. Jump over the rail. I wish that uh, he could have stumbled over. Actually, that reminds me, um, in another mod called uh, Brittenwalda, if you jump around and stumble around a bunch like this, or wander around too much and use up all of your stamina, you will fall over. It's an interesting mechanic that they've employed, although it is very frustrating at times. Let's talk. Let's talk turkey, Artemenor. Oh, say, friend, are you by chance heading out of town anytime soon? You know, yeah, there's no person who buys slaves here, so yeah, I'm gonna be out of here. Well, I'm an engineer specialized in the art of fartification. If you need a wall knocked down, I can do that, given enough time. If you need a wall built back up, I can do that too. You are quite a talented fellow, I guess, is what you're trying to tell me. I can do that too, although it will take longer and cost you more. These are basic facts, thanks. And you can't cut costs either unless you want your new edifice coming down underneath you. As someone around here just has found out, has just found out. The castle in here in Uxcall wanted a new tower added to the wall. Trouble is he ran out of cash halfway through the process. Before I could complete the supports, I told him that it would collapse, and it did. Unfortunately, he was standing on it at the time. The new castle in didn't feel like honoring his predecessor's debts and implied that it might that I might find myself charged with murder if I pushed the point. More fool me for having taken the contract without an advance, I suppose, but the end of it all is that I'm in a difficult spot, but the road's full of bandits and no money to pay for an escort. So I'd be much obliged if a well-armed party heading out in the next few days could take me along. Um, well, he's appealing to uh, Effington's um, vanity by saying a well-armed group of... or well-armed party, and, uh, you know, he doesn't seem like a bad guy. We'll, we'll at least indulge him and find out where he needs to go. Jeroya... Jeroe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eventually. That's one of... There are a few lands outside of Calradia that are mentioned kind of sidelong in various points. Um, this is one of them. Uh, but I'd welcome the opportunity to get a few dinars in my pocket first so I don't come home empty-handed. So if you promise me food and a share of the loot, I'd be happy to fight with you for a while. Siege work is my specialty, although I reckon I can handle... Or I reckon I can handle myself well enough in an open battle if need be. That ab immensely appeals to Effington. The idea of sieging a castle and taking it for his own is, uh, it makes his nether regions swell. That works for me. Boners ahoy, I would be pleased to have you. Oh, you. Good, by the way, a skilled engineer, I would expect a payment for my services. A signing bonus of 300 dinars would be fair, I think. Ugh. Well, you happen to be coming upon us while we're a little bit flush anyway, so that'll be fine. Uh, well, let's equip him first. Let's also take a look at his much-vaunted skills. Whoa. Well, I guess I got to it. That's not what I intended to do, but you can see he has Engineer of Four. It's nice to have, but it's not that important. This is actually nice to have, though I did not know that he had trade skills. Very interesting. That actually is almost more important than his engineering skills, but in any case, he's all around pretty good. I actually wanted to give him at least a helmet. 13 and 2, was it? I'm gonna give you uh, Ferentis' dirty old uh, Highlander costume. Apparently there can only be two. Let's give you... You're not getting my old leather cap, friend. A Rodox sword. Can you take a shield? You can! What a delight. Alright. Good deal. We'll give you this instead. I, I'm a little bit suspicious. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, we're not giving you that. We'll give you this. Yeah, that's the ticket. Alright. Cool, and now we're gonna go back into X Call and sell our shit. Ka ching, ka ching, ka ching, ka ching. Wow! Why is that so expensive? <laughs> it's just a skirt. All right, that's probably fine for all this junk and we can definitely sell the dress. We can say yes to the dress. All right, cool. What were we doing? Oh yeah, let's see if we can get some armor for ourselves that won't bankrupt us. Um, ooh, that's pretty cool. Sort of affordable, I guess. Plus it looks pretty nifty. 
That hat looks ridiculous with it. <laughs> yeah. It's not that much of an upgrade. Oh, it's a little bit of an upgrade. I think we're gonna pass, though. Fine. Okay. Well, we were actually exploring the Nord lands, is I guess what we were doing, but we once again find ourselves in the vicinity of the forest bandit camp. What do you know? Oh, and we have tracking. Apparently, does Artemander have tracking? You amazing bastard! Wonderful. So you can see that there's these little arrows on the map. Uh, they're not all that informative right now. But what they show you is the direction that a party might have gone. Now, he has tracking one, which is basically you get the bare minimum information. You get the fact that there was a party here and it went this way. You don't get any idea of what was in that party. You don't uh, get any indication of how long ago it was. So it's, again, it's the bare minimum, basically. Where are you going? You know, I have pressing business in Suno. Ha! Yeah, run from these Swadian dogs. Woof, woof. See if there is a ransomer here in Suno. We do have to watch the recruitment here. Books. <laughs> Looks like there's nobody here to recruit anyway. Oh, well then. Wait a minute. Traveler, book merchant, troubadour, black widow, and uh, space nooked. Okay, whatever. That is a shame. Well, maybe we'll head to Praven. Why not? Give it one more try. One more for the old Gipper. Praven. Praven. Come on. I'm praying for Praven. And the answer is... Oh, there's a tournament. Go to the tavern first. So we have uh, significantly... There we go. Why should I get to know you? I broke a ransom for the poor wretches who are captured in these endless wars. It's pretty self-explanatory. That's all I need to know. Just uh, let me sell this person to you. It might not be a lot of money. Oh! 150 for that guy. That was actually respectable. Look at this fellow. Scary. Oh, Marnid. You can probably... Oh, Oddval. Oddval the Oddball. <laughs> um, it's another sexy lady in our party, maybe. Or... Um, a guy. <laughs> oh, man. Marnid would be nice to have, but I think that uh, our friend here would strike up a conversation with Oddball. Hey, pretty boy, I have a glass of horse milk on me. Well, on you? That sounds like a mess. But Well, thank you. What's the occasion? My victory, of course. I haven't been able to properly celebrate it since my jealous competitors drove me away. How could I help it if I was just the best archer at the yearly competition? Every year, the largest archery games of Calradia are held in my home village of Tulbuk. Sounds foreign. Boring. People from all over the Karagat lands and even beyond travel there. Some for months to compete for the highest honor, being the Tulbuk champion and the accompanying sum of money. Men and women, children and adults, friend or foe, everyone is equal when holding a bow for that day. Or a bow that day. This year it was my turn for glory. I hit all targets, beating everyone, only to be accused of cheating. How could they? Even though there was no evidence, I'm sure of it, the elders took a stance against me. In the middle of the night, I ran as fast as I could. No need to await their judgment, for it was pretty clear what that would be. Here I am now, celebrating my victory with you. Hmm. Well, um, Effington is essentially a racist, so... <laughs> um... Uh, although she is talented, 
Um, I guess these between these two responses, though, he would probably say, well, we're always in need of archers. You can tell me a little bit more about your savage self. <laughs> well, it sounds too good to be true. I'm glad I offered you a drink, pretty boy. Oh, she's flirting with him, though. That is a point in her favor. <laughs> At your side, I'll be able to prove that these... Prove to these lands my skills with the bow, and when I and then they'll hear about my travels back home, they can they shall beg for my return. Um, I think that he's gonna decline. Even though she's very pretty, he's uh he's not interested in Kergits or Serenids or Vagirs or really uh. Swadians, the only people that he has any kind of affinity for other than the Rodox or the Nords at this point. So, he's he's at least skeptical of Kergits, and, you know, the Kergits have a bad reputation throughout Calradia, I think. So let's talk to Marnid. Hello, would you be so kind as to have a cup with me? A cup of what? Two men, one cup? That sounds like a blast. I'm down to my last five dinars, and I'd rather not drink alone. Your last five dinars? What the hell happened to you? Well, I guess Effington might have... He would probably never let him know it, but he can probably identify with being a little bit uh, down on his luck and short of money. <laughs> we didn't actually go broke, but still. It's a tragic tale, sir. A while back, I left Jeroya with a caravan of goods. I was hoping to sell it... No, oh, there's that place again. I was hoping to sell it all on Sargoth and make a hefty sum, but what do you know? We were ambushed by a party of Karagat raiders. Oh, there's a Karagat lady over there. You should go talk who rode away with most of the horses and goods, and two days later my own caravan guards ran away with the rest of what I had. So here I am, no money and no way home. Well, can you fight? Well, I confess that I am not a warrior by trade. I'm a fast learner. I can ride and know a fair bit about trade, prices and such. That's really nice to have. Uh, that, that will be fine. You just have to wear the right kind of armor, you know, put on the right kind of pants. All that good stuff. That'll do. Good. Give me a few moments to prepare and I'll be ready to move. Fantastic. All right. Well, I think that'll uh, wind it up for this episode. We've uh, made some progress, done some interesting things, and we have the prospect of a tournament on the horizon. So maybe we'll indulge in some tournamenty goodness. Until then, this has been Effing Controller. See you later.